Hello everybody, how you doing? Good morning, it's time for another tutorial, not a Minecraft tutorial today. Today I'm looking at City Skylines, and I want to talk about a really common problem in City Skylines as your cities start to get bigger. And as you can see, I'm talking about the not enough workers issue. This is an industrial district here, and this, uh, with a little bit of commercial spread through, and this is a really common problem as you get through your cities later on. You try and put industrial districts down, you have industrial demand, you don't have any demand for more people, so your city's got as many people as you can possibly get in, but there aren't enough workers in your city. And people have found this quite a difficult issue to solve, although mine's sort of fluctuating here just because I kind of, this is kind of artificial. I deliberately put a big industrial district in here so I could demonstrate. And I think a big part of the reason uh, a lot of people don't know how to solve this issue is it's often not the issue you think it is. So, first things first, what's going on here? Not enough workers might suggest, I mean this is for the commercial building here, but not enough workers might suggest you just don't have enough people in your city. Well, we've got 27,000 people, we have unemployed people, so um, there are, look, I mean there's a, there's a big old beautiful high density district here that isn't filled and uh, so there are people, there are people to work here. We could try and fix it by just putting uh, some uh, residential districts down, I suppose. Just kind of filling it in a little bit, see what that does. Uh, but, but I mean, look, we got the we got none of workers here right next to uh, an area here. But let's try that. So first things first, I'm just going to pop a little street down here. And we'll see what it does. And the reason I'm doing it this way is so that we can kind of whittle the problem down to its key cause. Now, as you can see, I don't have a lot of residential demand here. So if I fill this up with, say, nice piece of high-density residential, I'm not even going to fill that quickly because there aren't enough people needed in the city. That means, you know, there are jobs that are being filled, you know. There isn't a mass issue with people not having enough jobs or more jobs than people. Um, this building's coming down here, but it's not really fixing the workers issue, which we wouldn't expect it to fix it that quickly, but, um, so if residential demand's not the issue, uh, what's the problem? Well, the next issue it could be, and this is also really worth checking out, is maybe where you're building these buildings is too far from where people live. Obviously not an issue here with these commercial buildings, because they're right next to this residential zone. But there's nobody living here, so let's try and fix this this way too. We'll put some residential areas down here. Let's see what it does. We'll leave a little buffer zone there. We don't want to. Uh, we don't want to have people get all that industrial pollution. We'll put a little, little, little industrial zone down here. Sorry, a little residential zone down here. See what this does. Now this will gradually fill in over time as we have demand. But I think what you'll find is, this won't deal with the workers issue either. In fact, while we have slightly less of these need workers tags here, oop, oh, there is a fire station on here, they'll take care of that. Uh, the reason it's getting better for these buildings up here is because some of the places here that needed workers are actually shutting down. So, uh, here we have kind of few causes. Do you need just more residential areas? The answer is basically no. We have big high density residential here. It's not a problem. Uh, so the next thing to check is, are your residential areas too far from your industry? And I think what we'll find here is, no. Um, it takes a little moment to fill these with people, but if that doesn't fix your issue, and usually if this is coming in late in your game it won't, it probably isn't that either. Like I say, check that first, put more residences down, put residences down closer to your buildings that need workers, but if that doesn't solve your issue, and it almost certainly won't, then I would suggest that actually this is an education problem. Uh, and this is why I think most people misunderstand this issue. So if we look at this industrial stuff here, this is not like office zone, it's not highly specialized industry, this is just generic plonked down industry. It's, it's not really doing anything um, other than just being your most basic bog standard worker buildings. And then if we take a look at one of these buildings, we can see not enough workers, and it wants 12 uneducated workers. So it only wants uneducated, it has no job slots for educated, well-educated, highly educated. And if you've been running a city for a long time, what you'll start to find is, oh, well, we, we have a quarter of our population is uneducated, but 
most of it, most of it, we, we are educated, well-educated, highly educated. It's the uneducated people are the minority. So, that's what we've got going on here. There aren't enough people, low education enough, for these jobs to fill them all. And if you've been running a very highly educated city for a long time, and if you've been using the uh, education boost policy, what you'll find is that more and more and more this will get harder because eventually the more schools you put in the city, the more you educate people, the more you will find it absolutely impossible to just get enough jobs to fill, uh, enough people to fill all these jobs here. So, what's your solution? Well, the first thing you could do is you could take off the education boost policy. That would help. Uh, but the problem is, Education boost is much better for your city in the long run. Uh, people who have high education pay much more in taxes, so if you cut the education boost, this will get rid of your income. Uh, you could put the schools out policy on, which will uh, reduce how many people get an education too. It, they kind of contradict each other, these two policies, so having one on and one off makes no sense, but having both on makes no sense. But you could take that off, put the schools out policy, and then you'll fill these jobs in in no time only the most educated people will come uh, only only the certain amount of people will go for the most educated jobs but that will create the same problem you'll lose all that tax income from the high education people across the whole city what you want to do is if you really want to have this industrial district i mean the best plan really is to stop building these industrial districts uh you can uh you can do that by moving them gradually to higher tech industries depending on which expansions you've got you can have you know you can have tech you can have office space all that sort of stuff but if you want to have these industrial districts you really want them uh and you want to have the workers the best way to do it is actually by using districts so what we'll do is we'll use the district tool here and we'll outline these residential areas here that we put down in fact, you know what, we might as well just do this whole area, because then we can put as much in as we want. So now we've got a district here that encompasses all those residential zones we had here. And now we're going to put a very special district policy on here, which I am used to playing on console. Oh, I have no... There we go, policies. I couldn't remember how to do that. Take the education boost off, put the schools out policy on, and then what you've built is you've built a community right next to your industrial zone that won't pursue education. Uh, and they won't. That's basically what'll happen. Now, what I'm going to try and do is leave the video recording long enough. Uh, let's see. I'm going to take some... Let's put a few parks here so we don't have... Uh, we don't have this kind of industrial pollution bumping up right against where people live. Uh... Actually, do you know what? I won't do that, because that'll affect the, <laughs> the workers. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to let the video settle a little bit. Give it time. Oh, there we, look, it's happening already. There we go. So now, these people here, none of these people here are going to pursue higher education in the same numbers as the rest of the city. So I say none of those people. None of those people in the same numbers. <laughs> Most of the people here aren't going to go to university. What we've now built is, alongside this industrial district, We've built a sort of residential community that lives here to work here and is less educated than the rest of the city. Uh, what that means is overall your taxation is not going to be affected. Every other industrial area in the city is fine. Uh, this particular community is being set up to work here, basically. And there you go. That's how you can deal with your not enough workers issue. And uh, I hope that was useful to you. I hope I explained it effectively. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll uh, see you next time. Bye-bye.